Hey fellow builders, this is Animan. Today I'm excited to show you NextBunny, the first Next.js drag and drop editor to launch your idea 10x faster. Let's get right into it. So we have two components here. First is the components section where you can see all the available components you can use to build your landing pages. You can preview any of the components or you can directly click on edit live. And similarly, we have the templates section so you can view all the available templates. For example, I would click on this template if I like this template, I will click on edit live. So this will open up the template in the editor where you can make the changes directly. So for example, I can click on any component or any element within the editor and I can start making the changes. So for example, I have selected the header. I would like to make the change here. So like so, you can make the changes. You can edit each and every component available within the editor. So we have various options here to make the changes. For example, I can make the changes directly by selecting the component. So if I would like to change the button here, let's say launch today. So I can make the changes like so. Now let's scroll down and see more. So for example, I would like to make more changes to this component. I can select it. And the second option is I can also make the changes by directly clicking on the view code. So whatever you have selected based on the selected component, it will open up the code. So go within the code and you can start making changes here. For example, I can change the price here. I can change something in the features. I can hit save changes and the changes will be applied here. As you can see, the changes are applied. On the left hand side, we have layers tree and this is important to select the individual element and see their properties. So for example, I can select on the element directly here and it will show us the properties on the right hand side and we can start making changes let's try changing the background color for the selected component and as you can see the class is directly applied let's remove it but since these elements are stacked on each other or overlaid on each other you may not be able to select the elements directly on the editor so that's where you can directly go to the uh, layers tree and you can select the each and every element where you would like to make the changes and whatever element you will select you will see the properties on the properties panel so for example i would like to make the changes to this component now this is a component you may not be able to directly select it on the editor because this is a component and it is taking the props to render this text on the screen so you can select the component here and you can make the changes directly within these properties and it will render it accordingly based on the changes that you have made now you can also reorder the components however you like for example i would like to move this component a little above I would like to let's say position here or maybe of the pricing section so I can just select the component and just uh, drop it wherever I would like and you can also delete the component directly if you don't like something within the template you can delete the component from here and you can also add new components for example if you like something uh, from the library you can go and select the component that you like from here let's say I would like to add this feature section here I can preview it first. If I like it, I can click on insert. It will automatically adapt to the theme that you have already selected. Click insert and close it. So now I can see the component is added to our page. So we added it twice. So let me remove or delete the last one. I can select the component from the tree. Let's say this component, I would like to delete it. I can delete. And now let's say I would like to move this component above or after the pricing section. So like this, I can select and I can start making changes to the component. Now this is a component again, I'm not able to individually select the text, but you can always go to the layers tree and uh, you can see all the properties are available here and you can start making changes directly here. So I can change this to let's say learn basics and you can see it's updated on the editor as well now as a developer i always prefer to change directly via code but you have multiple options so i can directly make the changes here however i would like so i can directly change the text here you can remove this i feel this is convenient and even faster because i don't have to scroll through so many uh, properties when i can directly make the changes within the code I can save it and that's it and go back 
and see your changes. Now you can also change the colors for your dark and uh, light theme. Go to globals and uh, you can change the theme. For example, instead of blue, I would like to change it to this color. Now this color change is only applied to your dark theme. If you would like to apply it to your light theme as well, switch to light theme and I will select the primary color here and let's make it uh, this. This looks good. And now switch back to the dark theme. And as you can see, it has the respective color for the theme that you have selected. It will maintain it. Now, if you are good with the changes, you can preview. And you can see how your exported code will look like. And you can come back. Now you can add multiple pages. So for example, I would like to add more pages. Uh, let's say about create page. Again, I can go to the library. Now I can build this page component by a component or I can directly import the template. Whatever is your preference, you can select it. For example, in this case, let's say I would like to build this component by component. I can check the components that I like before I can import. For example, I like this template. So this looks good. I can insert it. Now, as you can see, it has automatically adapted to the theme because you have already selected the theme. So whatever component you select, it will automatically adapt to the selected theme. Now, back to the library, you can see the component that you have imported. This looks good. Now let's add more components to this page. I can, let's say I would like to import features here. I would like to add navbar. This looks good. Now, as you can see, the navbar is correctly applied at the top, even though we added it as a third component. That's because the navbar has the property fixed, uh, and that's the reason you can see it directly at the top. But you can always reorder the components from here as well. And this is the correct position. I'm happy. But if in case the position is not fixed, then you will see that component stacked in the proper position based on wherever you are importing the component. And again, I can go back to, let's view this in the light mode as well. And as you can see, the light mode theme is automatically applied. And same to the dark mode. I can click on preview. I can view this page. And this looks good. I can see the first page that we added and this looks good too once you are happy with your changes you can export the code click on export code now you have the complete nextjs project ready that you can export and host it anywhere you like now i can download the project i will log in here once you have successfully logged in you can click on download project it will download the entire project you can save wherever you would like Let's say I would like to save it here. Okay, now click on the project and let's open it up in the VS code. Now let's do npm install, npm run build and npm start. We are using Next.js 14 and make sure you have the node version 20 and above installed your machine in order for this project to work. So it is building the pages and in a couple of seconds we'll try how our pages are looking on our local machine and look at that our pages are ready fully responsive all the animations are working fine our theme is good and now let's check out our about page about page looks good too let's check it out in the light theme and this is the color that we chose for our light theme. Looks good. Let's go back to the home page. And this looks good. We are back in the next bunny editor. Now, one important thing I would like to point out is some of the hooks or animations may not render correctly in the editor. But rest assured, once you will export your code, it will work just fine. This is just MVP and there are a lot of um, issues that you may face and in time we'll fix it. So if you face any issue, please report it under the features request section. 
open up a new feature request, a new integration, or if it is a bug, please report it here and we'll get it done for you. Now back to the dashboard section. Now you can create multiple projects here. This is the project that we created. You can create as many projects you would like. We will bring more quality components and themes. Help us with your valuable feedback and see you soon. Thank you.